previously. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! It just fell on the floor. Well, this is embarrassing. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to Bear With Me. That was a thunder. It scared me. Um, let's go to Paper City, guys. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. So confused by the um, perspective of this game. Excelsior. <laughs> it kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. would have ended it with that on the last episode. I'm a dork. Uh, oh, I wanted you guys to hear the music. <laughs> We're in a different spot now. save. <coughs> Need to save again. <coughs> Can't just rely on a bunch of auto saves. Wait, what? Wait. I'm sorry, what? Will it just do the same thing if I do this? Here you go. Yes. Well, and enjoy. Have a night. You Good night. Wait, I'm so confused. What is happening? All right. You're Give me. I thought I Yeah. You're I'm so confused. What is happening? Can I skip this? Guess not. It kind of feels like Ah. Going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? Do I just have to new game chapter two? He grew up. Very confused. Because that's the end of chapter one. I can do chapter two. Yes, new game epi- Oh, I unlock them. What? Sorry. Very interesting. 
interesting looking. You're not doing your job very well. It's messy. Well, well, well. Look what the booze dragged in. Wow. That was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as Sorry. ever, and you've grown. Oh, uh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24 Hour Shift Survivor. You really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you being so short. <laughs> it's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, uh, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming. Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure you deserved it. He did. Uh, women, Shh. you can't kill him, but they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the <laughs> intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing <laughs> says I'm sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? After what you did? I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury indeed. It seems you two have a history together. That's yep. an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just we're kind of in a hurry. Uh... We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately or talked to anyone who has? Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. <sighs> Who told you about Flint? Who told you about Flint? <laughs> Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans. You should really give him more credit. Every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. What do you know about the Red Man? Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the Red Man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. Mm -hmm. I know you've heard about him. So... What's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. Yes. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. What is CBG? Have you seen CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here, all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How what do you can mean? you find him? You can start at the container terminal. He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. You talk to him lately? He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. <laughs> he almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well, second best. Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just mm -hmm. ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep, here I am, just enjoying my retirement. <laughs> retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. Is that Pete over there? Yep. That's old Pete. Who's Pete? He works here at the docks. He sure is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? <sighs> Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this mm. and that. 
Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something? Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. What? So, you and Betty. Shut up. <laughs> uh, okay. Talk to Pete. <laughs> a hole in my new pants. Pete, wake up! Pete! Okay. Shaft. Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. I. Uh, okay. Boy, this place is a mess. Yeah, it is. I'm yeah. not very hungry. With their menu, you'd better not be. I am starving. I'm about to go make me some ramen after I. Not much use when this. you can't see through them. Fair enough. A lot of dirty dishes. My mom would literally freak out. Mm. No time for sitting around. Aw. Popcorn. Take it. Someone already paid for it. Just take it. What happened? Okay. I don't know why my mouse randomly likes to I'll just click grab that stuff. while no one's looking. Um, she's looking. Seems like Betty could use a hand around here. Agreed. Go for bread. I prefer my food in liquid form. Uh, haha. Because it's... Dun, 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 dun. Salt and pepper's here. Dun, 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 dun. Push it real good. Push it real good. Oh my god. Take this mug. Uh. I'll take this. It could be useful. Indeed. Seems like Betty could use a hand around here. Filled with chilled carroty goodness. My God, do I need a drink? Carrot juice, coffee machine. Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. Agreed. Okay. Seems like Betty could use. Okay, yeah. Menu. I'm not with their menu. You yeah, yeah. Jukebox, play it. Play that funky music, whack girl. Play that funky music, right? I don't have any change. Ah, uh, damn it. Spare some change, Nimbus Supreme. That's some fancy broom. Still a broom, though. Why is Harry's? I been don't here? even feel like sweeping my own room, let alone someone else's. That's fair. Can I go back there? No, I cannot. Mm, boxes. I spent 12 hours in a box once, until she remembered that we were playing hide-and-seek. Just amber things. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Why didn't you just come out? Alright, I got an empty mug and a bag of popcorn. Can I nope. fill it? Okay. Can I have what? some water? That. No? Okay. Um, I don't know how to... Fire alarm? It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. Alright. Let's go talk to the dude outside. <sighs> You're so sad. I hope we find Flint. Alright. Daily specials? If they're so special, why are they not on the menu? Good point. Smart ass. Car. I know. I thought I pressed look at it. I guess I pressed open it. No, wait for Ted to Are walk over. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry. He won't mind. Or notice. We're both. Yeah, probably not. Hmm. Are we just. Don't worry. It's okay. Pete's car. Looks shabby. Um, trash can. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. That's fair. More yeah. like grayery. Ha. Huh. More like. Okay. 
That was funny the first time. I am not. Okay. This place wouldn't be the same without Betty. Vanderson. Shells Bay Diner, where everybody barely knows your name. Hello, I'm gonna talk to you. You seem like an interesting person. Okay, let me just wait for Ted. Hope you don't mind. He's 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 coming. Ted. Hi, Clark. Thank you. Caught anything yet? Oh, great. It's you two. Nothing yet. I think I'll just call the night soon. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. So, you're fishing to get by. Times are tough. Fishing to get by? It's not the 1600s, Ted, now is it? No one fishes to get by anymore. I do it recreationally, like as a hobby. In the middle of the night, while it's raining? Yeah, well, I got this raincoat, don't I? And yeah. I don't have to work in the morning. I'm a successful entrepreneur, actually. I made a fortune selling bubbles. Bubbles? It's bubbles. all rather complicated. I can do a presentation if you have a minute. I'm well, afraid. I Hell no. He means we're in a hurry, but maybe some other time? Fine. I, I guess I can just give you this pamphlet. You can read about it in there. Sure. Thank you. We'll um read it later. <laughs> I am very I interested. Can't wait. And you being here at this ungodly hour has nothing to do with a certain waitress, Clark. Betty? No, no, we're just friends is all. I'm not stalking her. Sure seems like it. Oh, well, I'm not. I don't care what the court has to say. It's just I'm here because I like fishing. You're not sure. even looking at the water. You're turned towards the diner. I don't have to look at the bloody water to fish. It's pitch dark anyways. When I see the pole getting twitchy, I, I get to reeling. That's it. Sure. All right. <laughs> I'll just go back to it then. And I'm sure you're very busy. Can you, like, not stand there? <laughs> you're scaring away the fish. And scaring away the you more like it. Okay, bye. See you later, Clark. I'll be here. I bet you will. Can I take your fishing rod? Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. Uh, I want your fishing rod. I don't rod. buy it. I think it's fake. I do, too. Wait, what is this? Oh. We should get back to the harbor doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows more about all of this. You're right. Let's go back. Uh. Oh, God. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. Oh, brother. Okay. Um, what do I have? Pamphlet. Would you like some popcorn? Nope. Okay, it's good for the fish, though. Fine, to Paper City I go. Rude. Got a pamphlet. Don't know why. Ah, you walk so slow. Holy shit. Oh, you're like 12, but Jesus. Or 9, I don't even know. Alright. We should get back to the harbor doll. You're right. Can I actually go to Sad Harbor? Diner. And I can go literally nowhere else. Okay. Where do I go? I have no idea what to do. Sorry, Sabrina. Okay. Come on, Ted. Move your ass. It's so Are we just slow. Waiting? Don't worry. He won't mind. Or notice. Or both. He's in love. I don't think. Uh, no time. Army knife? Someone might get it. Use the pamphlet. Throwing this away. Ah. Way is about the only you. Popcorn? Nope. Uh, cloth. Not sure. Are we just. Don't worry. He won't mind. How do I break into the car? Ugh. <sighs> it's so, so, so sleepy. 
Uh, okay. Mm. He's real. You say it as if it's a bad thing. Throwing this away is about the old. No time or for it. Maybe I can scare away. We should go find. See I would love to. I don't know how to get there. Bridge. There we go. Holy shit. No. Oh, itty ditty. <sighs> okay, cool. Oil can. Sure. Why not? Just grab that real quick. Why don't you grab it real quick, short step? Nah, I don't feel like touching electrical stuff. Ted, are you working here? Don't act smart. The sum of a man's life can be found on his office desk. Is that why yours is full of booze? It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. You used to have a hat just like this. What happened to it, Ted? It's a long story. All right, let's give it a shot. What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. There's something missing, or my name isn't Barbara. The fuse is missing, Barb. What are these pointy thingies? Looks like the bridge level indicator display indicating that bridge is not lowered. Look at you, Mr. I know my stuff. Um. Oh boy. Let's just keep this between us. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. We need to find the key for this panel. Maybe Pete has it on him. What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. Not much use when you can't see through them. Ted. Don't act. Who carries a screwdriver around? I'm pretty sure that's his car key. I'll take it with me. We can return it later. You'll just take it. Really? You. Oh, shut up. a glove. 
I'll take this. It could be useful. I really hope we didn't scratch it. Don't worry about it. That would be fun, but no. Throwing this away is about the only useful... That would be fun. 